Hi, I'm Tavleen Kaur from buildwhofunnels.com and in this video we're talking about how to set up order bumps. Well, in the part one of the video, I showed you what order bumps are and also I gave you order bump ideas. So if you're a digital product seller or a physical product seller, I showed you what you can upsell as order bumps. Specifically in this video, in this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to set up order bumps using order bumps by WooFunnels. So that is the agenda for this video. Well, just to remind you that order bumps are is a small element here, uh, which is on your checkout page. And the idea of the order bump is to increase the amount that a person spends on your website or your store. So just when he's about to check out, you actually show him an offer, which is extremely irresistible and which is also very relevant to the purchase that he is making. The idea is to get him to add that to his order by simply ticking a checkbox. So it's extremely frictionless and it's really fast way to increase your average order value. So that's what it is. Now let us go into the back end and let me show you how to set up order bumps. So in WooFunnels, you have order bumps section. So let's now create a new order bump. So we're going to go into add new. Now you can actually uh, put an order bump title here, which could be anything. Uh, so let's say order bump for camera, right? Uh, so that could be your uh, title. It's just for uh, your own purpose. It's for naming uh, the order bump. It does not, uh, the, the end user cannot see this. So as you can notice now a bump editor has been launched. So here there are four sections, rules, products, design, and settings. Now rules is where you set the rules uh, so that when a set of conditions are met, only then the order bump will get triggered. Product is uh, the product that you want to upsell as an order bump. Design is to configure the design of the order bump element. And finally, you have settings where you actually set the priority of your order bump. I will go into details of each of this. Let us uh, start with the rules section. All right, so now you can add rules. You've got a bunch of rules here. Uh, so basically when, uh, uh, you know, the condition that you set here is met, the order bump will get triggered. So here, for example, you've got cart total. So when the cart total is X dollars, that's when the order bump will get triggered or cart item. Now, this is an interesting rule. So uh, this basically means uh, when the item in their cart is at least one and then you've got a product here you can enter an item here so uh, let me just show you so let's say if they have added woo ninja to their cart and this is what they are checking out with then you want uh, this specific order bump to to get triggered so that's the rule that you are setting here right so um, that's that then you've got uh, a cart category so let's say they're making a purchase from uh, the albums category uh, then what will happen is that uh, the uh, order bump will get triggered if they're buying any product from the albums category, right? Uh, so you've got other rules just like this, like the order, the item counter, let's say they're added, adding five products to their cart. Cart item count means uh, the number of products in their cart. So if they've got like five products to, in their cart, that is when you want the order bump to be triggered. So that's when you select this one. Uh, similarly, you've got cart coupons, cart shipping method, customer, customer user role, shipping country, billing country, date, date time so on and so forth and you also got arrow checkout pages so let's say if you're creating a specific funnel and you've set up a checkout page using arrow then you can actually uh, enter the name of the arrow checkout page that you've created uh, and then that on that specific page only uh, the order bump will get triggered so you can create all these rules here you can also create two rules in conjunction with each other when it is arrow checkout page and then you've got the page name here could be anything uh, right and in addition to that the category is let's say something clothing right so you can also create rules uh, so in conjunction with each other but right now what I want to do is that I just want to say that when the cart item is Woo Ninja. So when the cart item contains at least one quantity of Woo Ninja, I want this order bump to get triggered. So let me just save and proceed. All right, so rules have been updated successfully. Let's move over to the next section, which is the product section. Now in the product section, you can add new product. Uh, so here you can add a new product, which is let's say anything, uh, which could be a product that you want to, so that you want to upsell as an order bump. 
so it could be up it could be any product that you want right here you can see you've got the type which is simple uh, now this could be variable as well and when it is variable then what will happen is that when a person checks the the, the checkbox for adding the uh, upsell to their cart uh, then they will be asked which of the variants they would like to add to their card, right? So that's what it is. And then you've got the discount. You can set the discount here, uh, whether you want it on regular price or on sale price. Like this means that in WooCommerce, if you have set up two different prices for the product, which is regular and sale, then on which of those two prices do you want to give a discount or a percentage of on? You can set a discount in percentage or in dollars, right? So now this is quantity one. Now let's just save product all right so the products have been saved successfully let's uh, now move on to the design section now we are here we are in the design section you've got three tabs here title skin and style in title you can actually add the copy of the order bump so this is the title and this is the description uh, in the part one of the video I extensively explained uh, how to write copy for your order bump right so here you can actually grab the attention by saying yes I want this or yes I, I want the jumpstart bundle or yes add this to my order right and this is the description where you talk about uh, the benefit of the of the upsell offer where you actually arouse desire by telling them why they should add this order uh, why they should add this item to their order so that's that and then if you want to uh, show the featured image then you actually just simply check this box and if not then turn off this toggle button right uh, in skin you've got two options here one is this one the other one is this one now this one is with the dotted line of course and this one is without the dotted line as you can notice um, if you are offering a discount on your order bump uh, then this is how the price will be shown to so the original price um, there will be a strike through the original price to show the uh, to show the discounted price and finally you've got the style section where you can actually edit this part here so this is for the title so let's say that you want to change the color from green to red so this text will then appear in red right you can change everything everything is configurable uh, right from uh, this hover color to the text color to the text color here of, of this description and even these lines so here you can say that you know you want to show solid line then the solid line will appear or you can say you want to show dotted line then dotted line will appear you can also say no to the border and then the border will go away so that is what it is and um, this section is completely configurable right you can also choose this skin if you like so let me now just paste some copy here and show you how it actually changes so here we say yes I want complete protection for my handheld device so this part here yeah so we can put it here all right, so this is an, uh, an original copy. So this is the title. This is the description, right? Uh, and here we've got accidental damages are expensive yet inevitable. If you accidentally damage or spill on your device, we will replace it for you. Save yourself hundreds of dollars in repairs with $47 complete protection plan. So that is what we are upselling as an order bump, which is a protection plan. So this is where the copy will come, right? All right, now let's just save the design and go into the setting section. In the settings section, there's only one thing that you need to know, which is the priority. Now, there may be a case where there are two products and uh, both of them have got order bumps associated with them, right? In that case, how will, uh, you know, how will it be determined that which order bump will be shown to the user? Well, it will be determined by the priority. So one is the, is the highest priority and as this number increases, the priority decreases. So let's say you've got uh, two order bumps. One has priority one and the other one has priority two then uh, the pr you know the order bump which has priority one will be shown and will be given more preference over the other one so that is what priority is all about so just a quick recap rules is where you set the condition uh, and based on these set conditions the order bump will get triggered product is to uh, select the specific product that you want to upsell as an order bump design is to design the specific element uh, where the order bump is shown which includes the title skin and style and finally you've got settings uh, where you actually set the priority of your order bump so that is about it
If you haven't watched part one of the video, then I would highly recommend you to watch the part one because that is where you will get lots of insights about how to use order bumps, how to write this copy, and also a lot of ideas for your business, no matter what you're selling. That is that. Now also go ahead to builtwoofunnels.com and explore uh, order bumps. Uh, take a look at how you can implement them in your business and also uh, watch part one of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like this content and I will see you in my next video. This is me, Tavleen Kaur from BuildWooFunnels.com.